Tabalia Biogari Vaca, Sitja Kupla Mila, O Hurin, Mexico. A canter will call water, my yellow smuggler, the druggy, Augustine Cartels, Mexico. The sound of town, Arizona border recon. Group of militia paramilitach, Augustine Wanagay, Tim Foley. Hello. Yeah, boy. Good boy. Tim? Yes, sir. How's it going, Hector? Hector. How you doing? Hard enough place to reach. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I call it the end of the world. There's an 80 mile stretch of the border where 40% of all the drugs come in and you're sitting right in the middle of it. Where there is a fence is just a four strand barbed wire fence, but there's miles out here where there is no fence. We're already being watched because that mountain right there is a cartel scout mountain. And are those mountains inside the border? Oh yeah. They're oh, yeah. in America? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's running this place? Cartel. They're bringing meth, cocaine, heroin, fentanyl. This is mad. It is. It's it's a different world. Okay, now I'll show you what I see out there. What are we looking at there? Some of the drug trails that I've walked. There's hundreds of them. Yeah, I've got about 200 GPS. What we do is try to find where they're coming through because it's so vast. We're trying to cover 800 square kilometers out here with four dozen guys. And so I get out there with the dog and we'll start humping through the mountains, looking for sign on the ground to see where they're coming through. Once I find the sign on the ground, then I'll put the cameras out and start monitoring the area. This you can tell is a dope uh, load because the packs every cubic centimeter in it is filled. Uh, they're all wearing carpet shoes. No print. It does leave a print, but you got to know what you're looking for. It's hard. And the guy in the back, see, he's got a set of binoculars and also a radio. So he's talking to the scout location. That's on one of your cameras. Yeah. Once I get an area where I know that is good activity, my guys will come out for seven days and start hitting those trails and blocking them. Who are your guys? And you're saying you and your guys. These guys are all uh, former military and law enforcement. What's your objective here, Tim? Basically, what we're trying to do is disrupt their logistics. Dope mules, basically, once they cross the line, they have a five-day hump in front of them to get to their drop-off point. And if we sit in front of them, they have to spend a day and a half to get around us. So they're going to be really hungry or really tired trying to get through where it makes it easier for them to get caught. So basically what we end up doing is putting up a human wall. Do you arrest? Do you catch? Do you turn them over to the... We detain. We offer them food, water, medical aid. We don't allow you to keep going because we don't know who you are. So we turn you over to the authorities who can find out who you are. See that? Yes. Humanitarian water bottle. Can you explain what that... That's the American citizens that are leaving the food and the water out for the cartel. Through the mountains, on the trails? Yep. Do they think that normal families are coming yep. through here? Yep. So you can't blame them for that then? Well, maybe they should educate themselves and realize what's really going through. If you look, I've got about 75 cartel scout locations on mountaintops in our area. And then when you add in the water, there's, it a, just becomes there's a, a whole bunch of water right there <laughs> waiting for them. In the summertime when it's 45, 50 Celsius, the average person is drinking two gallons of water a day to get through this. So if you've got a five day trek, that's 10 gallons. 10 gallons weighs about 40 kilos. You're not carrying 40 kilos of freaking water along with your food and your dope. So now they don't have to. They can only carry in a gallon or so till they get the first one and refill their water jugs. If you wanted to stop 85% of what's coming through in a, probably a matter of two weeks, you get them to quit putting that Who water Who are these up. people that are doing this? They're delusional Americans. But uh, how do these Americans know these points? That's a good question. I mean, it's being funneled through the humanitarian circles. And because, I mean, there's thousands upon thousands of gallons of water out there. Surely Border Patrol can find out who are, who's doing this. One would imagine. 
but it's job security. You know, the average agent in this area is probably making about a hundred grand a year. Why would you want to piss on that type of job? Tá tím sás de muid a hort leis a cheann da quid recon missions. Agus is léir nach mbeidh muid a fógal an tí go mbeidh muid réite i gearr. How long could you survive out here without provision, without water? You can survive a week without food, but you can only survive two to three days without water. This isn't for everybody because you got to know what you're doing. And I've been out here for going into my 10th year, so I know the when not to be out there. But there's always a chance things yes. could go bad. Right up here, an agent got shot four times. He's going down a trail and dude popped out of a fucking bush and fucking opened up on God, we're going deep into it now. Trails right here. Come on. Should need the trails. Should need the paths of Tadienta. I was trying to trail shot in that guy. Tim, what have you got? Uh, on this one, probably about 500 fucking videos. So when did you put this camera in, Tim? About uh, two weeks ago. I tend to try to leave them anywhere from 10 days to two weeks before I check them, because it'll give me a better understanding of that trail. In all the years you're doing this, I have to go back to this again. Are women and children coming through this car? Not in this one. You've got 2,000 foot elevation changes. Then it's just one right after another, after another, after another. And if you don't know where you're at, look at this stuff. I mean, you get turned around in a heartbeat. Why would you want to try to do this and risk your family's life when you can just walk across where it's flat land and go, hey? What is getting through, say, of 100% of narcotics? 85, 85%. Border Patrol probably gets about 15%. Business, profit and loss. They know they're going to lose X amount of product to get X amount of product through. Faker show. Faker show. Buena suerte. Si. Do you empty the water or do you no. leave it? No, we just monitor it. Because if you empty it, then they move it. Then you have to find it again. So if I know that they're leaving water, I know this trail is hot. Que Dios les bendigo. May God bless you all. Disillusioned minions who believe that they're doing God's work. Tim, why are you doing it? Um, when I'm laying on my deathbed, what do I want to look back on? That uh, I worked a nine to five job for 40 freaking years and I get a pension and if I was lucky enough, I could take a two week vacation to some beach and have some pictures. Or do I want to be able to lay there and say, I tried to make a difference. I tried to help. I did what was right. What's more important? And to me, this is more important than just being an obedient tax payer, you know? <laughs>